Welcome pen pals, this is Tom with Gold Spot Pens here to show you today the Rocket Book Wave, which is a smart reusable notebook. We're gonna do a unboxing and a demonstration to show you exactly what this Rocket Book Wave is all about. Almost kind of like a space age sort of pouch. It has a zipper uh, towards the top, so it's kind of like a zip lock. So you open it up here and you have the notebook inside. So I'll take it out. So this is the executive size of the Wave. This executive size is um, it's about roughly the size of what a, an A5 notebook would be like. And it has the Wave logo in two separate locations. And that's something to notice here, along with the circles that are here is something to note because you need to kind of use these as a reference for when you microwave the notebook, which we'll get to in a little bit. But you see here, it's got a dot grid page format, which is kind of interesting because it's not a, it's not a typical dot grid format. As you can see, it's not fully filled in. It's kind of like has lines going both ways, but then there's an empty gap in between some of the boxes here where a dot usually would be. So it's a little different. Um, also, big difference here with most dotted notebooks is that uh, since this is a smart notebook, it's got a series of seven different icons at the bottom. And these coordinate with the Rocketbook app, which will show you that you'd be able to send this to various uh, online repositories for your information, whether it be Evernote, uh, Gmail, Google Drive, uh, Microsoft Outlook and uh, others that connect to the Rocketbook app. The Pilot Friction Pen. So, Pilot Friction, and the reason why it's called the Friction is because it erases with friction, and that's actually a thermosensitive ink that comes in the Pilot Friction Pen, which responds to uh, temperature. So if you want to erase, you would use this end. You would just essentially have to rub the um, the surface of the paper and the ink would come out uh, with the rocket book wave you could essentially write an entire notebook using the the friction pens and then go and uh, do the microwave and then completely erase the thing from front to back so we're going to give this a bit of a test world going to write some notes so an example of how you would be able to write in this and then be able to send it to the cloud and then be able to erase your notes to reuse it once more again.
All right, so now that we've got a chance to play with our rocket book, I filled up some of the pages here with some scribbles and uh, some of the writing of which I was able to share using the cloud app that uh, downloaded. Um, but I just wanted to scribble on some of the pages throughout just to see if when you cook it from front to back, how the ink responds uh, to the temperature. So as per the instructions on the uh, shipping container here, I have the notebook, I have a microwave that has a rotating uh, turntable. I will put the rocket book inside and make sure that's not off to the side here so that it gets it hits the wall. We want it right in the middle so it can turn around without being obstructed. And then we're going to put our uh, my mug here. It's a Star Wars mug. It's filled with three quarters of the way with just regular water. And I'm going to put it right on the middle of those circles there. And the thing I'm going to be taking a look for is that logo. And according to uh, the instructions here, the uh, microwave your wave until the blue rocket logo inside the white circle disappears. So it'll turn white and it'll disappear. And we want to check it every 30 seconds. So let's give this a shot. Let's go for three minutes. Okay, so we're going to take a look. That logo is still there. So let's keep it going. Take a look now. It's starting to disappear. You could tell. You could start to see it's the bottom part disappearing. It is gone. Okay. So just be careful because this stuff is going to be hot, I would imagine. A little warm. Yeah, it's a little warm. So we have this side is done. So we have this side left to go. Let's place that in there. Look. It's already starting to disappear. Is gone okay so we are set take that out there okay we'll take out our hot notebook take a look it is it is pretty warm it's very toasty it's almost as if uh, you took like some hot towels out of the dryer it's the way that I would equate it let's take a look ah haha -ha. so I still see that there is a section that had remained after microwaving it, but it could have just been the part that was right underneath the mug, I suppose, because everything else seems to have disappeared. Still see like a little bit here, but then again, that's also in the middle too, so it could be could be just that section that was right underneath the mug did not get because that's right here I could feel actually this middle part here is cooler um, the outer edges seem to be a little bit warmer so that could be uh, the issue but looking overall it did do most of its job here it just could just use a little bit more in that middle section there towards the top so if we don't put the, if maybe we put this off to the side, we won't get hot enough. And there it is. I just had to move the mug out of position and then those pages are now blank and supremely blank, except for a slight, I mean, you could probably see it just slightly with the camera. I'm just trying to get, yeah, you could see that, that at that angle, there's a slight bit of ghost 
uh, ghosting there, a little ghosting presence on the page. But overall, just looking at it like that, it just, you can hardly see that there's anything on there. So you could definitely go back in and, and continue to uh, use this notebook for uh, all of your note-taking needs, like, uh, you know, doing, let's say, a semester's worth of work in this notebook, fully erasing it, and then being able to do another semester, um, or doing project notes, uh, ideas, first drafts, this would be perfect for, because then you could save all of your work without it taking up any physical space. So that is the Rocketbook Wave. Go crazy, go, go to town with this guy and see what you can accomplish and create with the Rocketbook Wave. Thanks guys, have a great weekend.